everyone, this is John from Never Center showing you Camera Back 2, and I'm going to show you uh, how to create a filter from scratch. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a few images of my sister and my niece, and I've dragged one into Camera Back, and I can use the arrow keys to go between uh, photos in the same folder. And I'm going to try and come up with a filter that looks nice uh, with, all these, with all these images. So uh, just to give you an idea, in the favorites, here you have a whole bunch of filters that we have created, and this is also where your own filters will show up when you make them. Um, so I can hit quick look here and just give you an idea of some of the range of possibilities, um, all created with the, the same building blocks in the other tabs. So let's uh, go out of here and start making our own. Uh, I like to start in the Styles tab. You can uh, do it however you want, but um, these styles are, they're kind of like filters, but they're, each one is a single tile and it's sort of a core building block. And um, you can think of it like contrast or exposure, but they're, they're more complex effects that they add to the image. Uh, so I'm going to start by adding some instant to the image and uh, I'll turn down the amount a bit. There's two sliders here. There's this amount and then Remix is an endless slider and each, each of these core styles has endless variation that you can uh, drag between to get different looks. And I kind of like uh, maybe something around here to, to kind of uh, bring a cooler tone to the colors. It's doing more complex things than that, but I really like the uh, cooler look this gives. Um, I can hit the uh, hit the power icon to turn it off and compare with the original image, and as I add more tiles, I can come down here to do that with all of the tiles at once. Um, so let's add a second style to uh, really start making our own new look. Um, Let's go with Autochrome. If I hit this, if I hit this plus button here, that will add the style to the existing tray. So now I've got both Instant applied and this Autochrome, and this Autochrome gives me uh, a nice grain look, and it uh, does some nice things with the tone. You can see I can turn off the Instant here, and you can see the effect that the Instant is having, and I can turn off the Autochrome. Um, I can also drag to rearrange the order, and that will have an effect on the image. Uh, let's bring down the autochrome a bit uh, to allow a little more of the color of the original image in. Okay, and then maybe I would go into adjust, and we have all sorts of uh, adjustment controls. Um, everything from, from some basic things to some pretty advanced curve editors and the like. Uh, a good place to start is the multi-tool because this gives you three of the most common adjustments in one. Uh, the exposure and the contrast and the saturation. So I can play with these a little bit. Um, maybe bring down the exposure and turn up the contrast to kind of keep uh, pushing the color and then bring down the saturation a little bit. Um, I might also go in and add uh, some vignette just to really bring the focus to the center of the image. Uh, vignette has three sliders here as you can see. Um, radius, uh, sharpness. You can see it goes all the way to 100%. We try to make as many of our sliders go all the way to 100% and 0% as possible so that you have a full range of control. Uh, you know, obviously at 100% this one's a little bit like a Looney Tunes uh, cartoon or something, but um, I can turn that down. And the radius, and then maybe bring down the amount somewhere around there. And again, I can arrow between images and see how this is looking. Um, I might want a little bit more vignette showing up in that white corner there, so maybe I'll turn this up a little bit more. And I could play with this all day, but um, I'll leave it here for now. And so this, I can save the image, of course, with this filter, but I can also save the filter itself, this new look I've created. I can do that by going into the file menu and uh, using these commands or I can just hit the plus key and the plus key will add this filter to the favorites filters to the favorite filters excuse me um, so this is adding quite a bit of drama to the image so I'm going to go ahead and call this filter drama hit save and you'll see that here in the favorite 
favorite filters list that we looked at earlier, there is now a filter called Drama, which is mine. Um, it's next to all of these other looks, and now whenever I do Quick Look, uh, it'll show up, and you know, whenever I use the program, I can use this new filter as a starting off point. I can still come in and edit everything and uh, create more new looks from here. So that's a quick look at uh, creating a filter in Camera Bag. Uh, we hope you'll give it a try. Uh, you can download Camera Bag 2 and find out more information at neversender.com slash camera bag. Thanks for watching.